Hi guys. So I thought I'd do another video while uh, while his bells at school and Jasmine's napping, as I do. Uh, the only time I really get a chance to sit down and do a sit down video is when I don't when I'm baby free. Um, so this video is going to be an update on one of my biggest viewed videos. Uh, and everybody started to get worried for me back then. It's one of my first videos I did. Um, I got a lot of feedback from that. And I was just thinking about it today and how much life has changed. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do an updated video on it. So the this is going to be the updated version of being a lonely autism mum. Lonely special needs mum. Um... In the last, the last one I did, I got really upset. I was really upset because um, Isabella's behaviour was getting really bad. Um, she had just got her, um, I, we just got the IQ test done and she, and it came back not good. Uh, and then... I I was really upset, obviously. Um, you know, the the fact that your child has special needs is hard enough and then once you get over the hurdle of, okay, my daughter's autistic, then comes the IQ test and it came back that she um she was borderline. So it's actually called borderline intellectual functioning, so it's neither way. Uh, she doesn't actually have an intellectual disability, but she is behind by at least 18 months. Um, and when we got that done, I kind of, I was really upset, like I really, really was upset. And I shut down to everybody. I shut down to my friends, my family. Um, it's kind of like, that's just kind of like what I do is when, it's like when I get too upset or something, I kind of like shut down to the world. I just want my own space, my own time to sort it out, what's going on in my life. Um, and if people try and push, then I just, I can't, I can't handle it. So if people try and push me to talk or push me to, you know, involve myself, then I push them away. It's just a, I don't know, it's just a coping thing that I've done all my life, really. I've done it all my life. I've just kind of, I just go into a shell and, you know, need my own time, my own space to kind of process what's happening and get over it. Um, and at that point, <clears throat> uh, my friends, that my group of mum friends that I was really close with, uh, obviously couldn't handle me, um, and the drama that came with being a special needs mum, and they kind of pushed me away. They couldn't handle the situation. They told me that they're not good enough to handle the situation, so I go see a psychologist. So uh, I then started going to a special needs uh, autism play group, and again, they weren't happy with that. So, I mean, I'm not going to dwell back on that again because that's just, it's in the past and I'm over it. But uh, that's pretty much what happened. Um, and I started to get really lonely thinking I was in it by myself, you know, like I had nobody, I had nothing, I'd lost my friends, I lost my support base, I lost a lot of things as well as Isabella's diagnosis and her uh, IQ. Um, so I got really upset. But the update on that now <laughs> is I have not been happier. 
I think right now I'm probably the happiest I've been. I think I could say with confidence in years, like years, I've not been this happy in years. Um, me and Anthony are in a really, really good place. We are really, we're really going strong. Uh, there's no fighting between us. I mean, we were having a bit of a rough patch uh, over like about 18 months ago, but we've come out on top of that and we've never been happier. Um, he's got a new job and he's doing really awesome at it. Um, so that's, that's good. Uh, and my support, I've got, I've got the awesome bunch of mum friends, awesome bunch of mums. Um, I've all obviously got my old friends that I've always been friends with. Um, you guys know who you are. I love you. Um, but I've also uh, found some new friends, and it's great. I uh, got some from the Loop Predis Association, which is an autism association. I've got a bunch of friends from there. And I've also got a bunch of friends from my autism support group. They are, I can say with confidence that if I didn't have them, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. When Isabella got sick, I had them like I was message I probably got so annoying <laughs> I probably got so annoying I had them on messenger and I was calling them so much because I was like freaking out I wasn't sure what was happening and I just needed advice and help and they were there they're there every single second of the day if I have any issues whether it's got to do with being a special needs mum or whether it's just got to do with being female or just a human being itself you know, even if it's just something funny or something good you just want to share or you're having a tough time, it doesn't matter what it is, they're there. They're there. Like, they are awesome bunch of mums. Um, also, I'm going back to my old playgroup I used to go to with Isabella when she was a baby. When she was a baby. Uh, I went to playgroup with her for a while uh, and I'm going to go back there with Jasmine as of next term. Uh, I went back there to get my... Uh, the family photos and I seen them all there and they were so loving they you know took me with open arms and you know they are um they're just really really great mums so I'm going back there as of next term uh, and also as of next term there's another they're starting up uh, another autism support carers support catch-ups uh, and I'm also going to baby wearing catch-ups the funny thing is is that I'm because Isabella goes to preschool Wednesday Thursday Friday these meets are on um, that these catch-ups are on either the Wednesday Thursday or the Friday so I'm going to an autism support group with my non autistic child Today I went to a baby wearing me and I wasn't even wearing my baby because of my knee because I wouldn't have how I dislocated my knee so that's I still can't carry her but even even though like even though what am I trying to say even though I'm not wearing my baby and even though I am uh, I'm taking my non autistic child Everybody's just so loving and openly having me there. Like, it's so lovely. Like, I feel completely loved <laughs> and definitely not alone. Definitely not alone. So, I think what I'm trying to say is as much as I know what it's like to be um, lonely as a special needs uh, mother, you just have to choose your groups accordingly quarterly um, pick it like mums that aren't special needs won't understand they never will they never have I, I don't think they have ever understood like from all the special needs mums and even the special needs adults that I've 
uh, come in contact with, no one understands. Unless you actually have that part in your family, you wouldn't understand it. You just wouldn't. So, I mean, I've got friends that are um, that are not special needs mums, but I've had them for years, like before I even become a mum. Um, but all the mums that I have become friends with since becoming a mum, if they're not special needs, they have kind of turned their backs on me. And it's not so much turn their backs on me, but they don't understand. They don't, they can't, they can't help. So they kind of just go, all right, and kind of push you off to the side. So if you find a group of mums that understand where you're coming from, if you find a group of mums that, you know, are special needs mums themselves, um, then, you know, it's, it's priceless. It's priceless to have a group of mums that are special needs are absolutely priceless. It really is. It's it's awesome to have that support. If you have that support, then you're not lonely. It's just because, you know, you can talk about um, the problems, the struggles that you go through, and you know that they are sitting there listening to you going, yep, I've been there. Yep, I've been there. Yep, I've been there. Yep, I've been there. Um, but then you can just have a laugh and have a chat just like any normal, you know, people sit around talking and it's really great, like just a bunch of friends. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd give that update because I know that I got a lot of messages and phone calls from that first video that I made a long time ago and I just actually thought about it today because I just thought about how happy I actually am. So, yeah, I thought I'd just do an update, let you all know that I am super happy and, yeah, I've found my support base, I've found my, my, uh, my friends. It's great. It really is. So, I'm not sure how many of them actually watch my videos, but you guys know who you are and, yeah. That's it. All right. Uh, I just want to say thank you to you all. I love you all. You are the great. You are the best. Um, I don't know where I'd be without you all. <laughs> but yeah, uh, please thumbs this up and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.